Did you have any details at the end of last semester? The, the, the like, survey? Survey. Yeah. I think there's surveys on the class, clinical instructor, classroom instructors, from the site maybe? Yeah. Um, so on the class, I, I would write that, you know, whatever you think is BS, write it. Don't write BS things, but you know, whatever you like or don't like, you do. Because when things are in writing is when things change, you know. If this right now were to complain at a faculty meeting, if they do it on day shift, they, it's Bible, you know what I mean? So. All right. So no one likes this. So what you start to say? What did you? I didn't hear what you said. No, I said no one like. No one listen. No one listens to us. <laughs> Maybe eventually when we're here a little bit longer. We make very strong arguments too. Oh my God! The Halloween argument was an awesome argument, and Halloween came and went, and we were here. That just sticks, you know. All right. This is man again. Um, he came in, he's um, how old? So he's six years old. He came into the hospital with musculoskeletal knee pain and degenerative joint disease. His most recent vital signs are right here on the right hand side. It's actually small for you to see. 88, 142 over 68, 18, 97. Pulse ox is 95. Pain is only a 1 out of 10. Chief complaint is nasal congestion and it, it's your watery eyes. No, 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 that's the seasonal allergy. Chief complaint is the Um Has hydrochloric thiazide ordered? Remember what that is? Yeah, it's a diuretic. Diuretic, good. What's type of diuretic? What type of diuretic? Thiazide. 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 Lisinopril, once a day. Which is a? ACE inhibitor. Beautiful. <laughs> and metformin hydrochloride, which we just learned last week. And so what is what metformin? What class? It's an oral um, um, diabetic medication. Yes, what, what class of diabetic medication? It's the... Um, I will say oral hypoglycemic, that's true too. It's the bigger, bigger, bigger something, whatever. The key just got it by one eye. Yeah, by one eye. So it's really important that one about metformin and IV contrast. That's a real life end test one. Um, he's on that twice a day um, before breakfast and before lunch. Um, and then he's on remarkable for the most part. The low A1C is 5.8, which is a tad high, right? And so, hang on, it's below the 6. Below the 6, right. But he's pre. 5.5. 5.5 to 6 is pre. So they're not pre diabetic. He's on medicine, so. And that's all there's a bunch of lab work here. So. Um, with knowing the person's meds and, and the little bit that we know, we're looking at the computer because the ER is about to send this patient up to our floor. Um, is the patient a type 1 or a type 2 diabetic? Is it a type 2, you think? Okay, so that is that insulin a problem with insulin production or insulin resistance? Oh. Resistance. So the, the pancreas is still working, so the production is hopefully still okay. okay? What kind of um, symptoms, if this person happens to be a new diabetic, what kind of <coughs> symptoms would they present with you? Waking. Waking. What are the polys? Polyuria. Polydipsia, polyuria. Polyphasia. What's polyphasia? Eating. Increased hunger and increased oh. eating. Polydipsia? Drinking. Drinking, thirsty. Um, and also making up for water loss because of the frequent pain going on. And polyuria? Frequent urine. Urine, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the patient's BMI with the weight of 186 and 69 inches is. Uh, 
seven and a half, which is overweight, like overweight BMI, not obese by definition. Should we know BMIs? No. Okay. Well, you, you will eventually. You will eventually. <coughs> okay. So normal is what? It's 18.5 to 24.9. Yes. So might as well keep repeating it now. Coming up this semester. Next semester. This semester, semester. obesity is in this one. Is it okay? What, what unit is that? The next one? Yeah, the next one. <laughs> yeah, the next one. <coughs> this is unit five test coming up. Right? Mm -hmm. We're in week seventeen. How long is that? Yeah, yeah, no, I was looking at that earlier. Uh, scrolling through and I was seeing a couple more, you know, case of the schedule. I'm like, whoa. I'm not ready for that. Um so lifestyle changes, um, to balance and energy intake and storage uh, with insulin supply. What, what kind of things uh, are we going to teach the patient? Diet. Diet, Diet exercise. Monitor their um, blood sugar. How to take their blood sugar, what's normal. Monitor their uh, feet and extremities for wounds and everything. Um, monitor their extremities or feet um, to um, tell them what to look out for for wounds or, or Potential ones. Eye exam. Eye exam. How often do they suggest? Um, twice. Twice a no. Once a year. That was once, once a year. year. Once a year. Dental was two years. Two Dental times a year. Two years. And um, I think insurance pays for anybody to have two years. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a norm anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is your wear shoes? Exercise. What's the What's the um, Norm that we should be telling people to do? 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes, five times a week? Yeah, it's all like 150 minutes, right? 150. At least 30 minutes, five days a week is recommended. Teach them how to do their blood glucose monitoring. Teach them about, you know, looking at food labels, um, you know, what their, uh, you know, what types of food should we tell them to eat? High fiber, low, um, low fat um, diet. Um, so you've tried lifestyle changes. This, this, Mr. Nugen. Nugen. Um, Nugen. Um, he tried lifestyle changes. He tried a little bit of exercise, um, diet. What, what's next? Medication. Medication, good. Pharmacological approaches should be next. Um, patient sedentary, likes to eat rice, not very proactive about his nutrition. Um, um, what's really important to teach the patient to keep um, track of? Food diary. Food diary. And something else. Carbs. What's that? Eat carbs. Carbs. When they take the meds. When I take the meds. So food and a um, medication diary and blood sugar. Like ah, blood sugar. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of times, like the um, the little diaries that might come with um, the blood glucose <coughs> monitor, will say like pre breakfast, pre lunch, and then we'll have a place, a spot to write what you had for breakfast. You know, it's about a centimeter bit. You really can't write anything in there, but it they mean well by putting it in there. But it's really important to see what spikes there. Um, blood sugars, why were they really low in the morning? Well, let's look at last night to see what they did or didn't eat. Okay. So keep a daily diary of food and blood sugars. Check the feet daily. Um, if no one has recommended nutritional counseling, um, that's always a, a good idea. Insurance does pay for that. Um, <coughs> to do physical activity, um, put any, uh, you know, losing, um, you know, 5% of the weight can drastically reduce blood sugars and people they want to see. Okay. EHR2, we're done for this semester. We won't burn you with it again. Do we use it in upcoming semesters? 
Do you guys chart in, in clinical no. to your instructors can or anything? Like can't. They don't, we don't, they don't have access. Vital signs, yeah. we, no, we, don't, vital, we can't do vitals. Vital signs in the computer or no? No. We, they let, she lets us do vital signs in the computer. I just vital signs. Okay. But down here, you don't do it. No, yeah, can't. Um, this was initially suggested for purchase because of students not being able, uh, students complaining that they were, um, that they're not prepared for electronic um, documentation once they're RNs in real life. Um, I would bet my life on this next statement that this isn't going to help anybody document in the future. Every system is different. Um, this is very rudimentary and um, hard to navigate, and it's <coughs> learning it wherever you work is going to be the best thing. Um, oh, yeah, it's part of the training. It's, it's training. It's, you can be trained in the... Um, in the classroom first before you go on the floor, a lot of times happen, you know, you're in a class with five, six people, 20 people, depending on how big the orientation class is. Um, you might be in there with a bunch of nurses and nursing assistants. Um, you know, half the class might be for everybody, like even, you know, people that, uh, clerical people that input information, um, you know, the HR people, and then they'll, then they'll be able to leave for the day and then you get to do all the important documentation and stuff patient assessments, um, you know, putting orders in, that sort of thing. You're gonna, it's more about just your time, and you, you have to do something and then document it, do something and document it. That's not what you're doing as a student, because this is not, no matter what program it is, it's just not how it goes, but You'll get used to it, I mean, or you'll get fired. I'm not being smart. <laughs> <laughs> Probably with that person who emailed back. And I bet it was one person who right. said they were having trouble. Yeah. Like, if you can order stuff online, you can do try online. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just negotiating your time, which is very, which is difficult. And that's part of being have difficult patients. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoever suggested it, tell them I want my hundred bucks. I know. I'm right, exactly. I'm with you, Laurel. <laughs> 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 Shit. Okay, there's a couple non-diabetes questions. Like this this so initially much. started out Drug as a diabetes mm. review. You want to work on that little quiz thing first, <laughs> and then do the review? What do you think? Well, whatever floats the boat. Oh, we're doing this? Okay. Yeah. Nurses, teacher. Yeah. So it's got to be two. It's got to be two. That's not what I got. MPH duration is 10 to 16 hours. No, I know what else. I mean, if it, I don't know. I know you don't shake. You got to look like in your hands like this, but. Okay. I was just thinking because like that's different from what we yeah, have. That's that's all. I'm sorry. 
No, well, good point. Okay, but you yeah. don't. What's the next best answer? If the answer you want isn't there, I'm not being smart when I say this. You can't pick it, so you go with the next best one. Let's focus on passing. <laughs> Great testing point you need. Post intolerance. Um, that's uh Great. Uh, Four. 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 Mm -hmm. Can we have that question? Yeah. That question. That's like a perfect question to be on there. Yeah, but I mean, you're only supposed to do. Do not put that one on the test, please. Thank yeah. you. We'll have these questions on the test. Oh, okay, okay. I've never do that. So I've got a little file that's too lazy to take that off. Yeah, I think that's what they do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Definitely not one. Anywhere ahead of this. One, two, and three. Or uh, two, uh, two, three, and four. So it needs further teaching. Oh, needs further teaching. Okay, I'm sorry. One and three. Sorry. How often does it have to be rotated? Is it every three? Every one. Every one, one sorry. Yeah. You shouldn't do it five times in one spot. You should go no, left, right, left, right. Don't right. 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 clock, just like the fashion of wrap, drop the leg, and switch arms. <clears throat> Yeah, they no, don't say anything about the standard wise. Not test what standardized test wise, no, but real life. Yeah. And that, that's why um, patients are on this one. Uh, 
it's, still, it, it's better for them to deal insulin, but. Yeah, because I was looking at the PowerPoint, it didn't say anything about the uh, what, what was being pregnant. Yeah, most men do not. Most men in Three. I mean, I mean, do we have to know all the calories uh, for all these? Or no, well, no, 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 so they can run like that. I'm getting one of the salt. No. Oh, wow. Substituting skin, fat free milk for whole milk allows the client to add a fat into the breakfast tray. Mm. So you just want to deal with what's on the, you know, the fat that we're talking about. That was, that was number two. I thought there was all four. Because Mark was terrible. Yeah. I was going to say, all these like nutrition questions. Something's like really bad for you. Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't. Every yeah, year is so much better than really one for a person. What's that? Yeah, Margarine is like, it has steak like stuff, butter, butters at least. Yeah, salt, you know, it's like, you're yeah. 2,000 yeah. miles. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Where did these butters come from? Like a, I don't remember now. <laughs> Three. 
So it's an extended release, and there isn't a peak time. Right? There's no peak time with extended release. Right? One's the only one that okay. yeah. One's the only it's really not going to give you a hypoglycemia. <laughs> Yeah, three to six. Yeah. Or I mean one. Oh god, I was I I was thinking of a different I thought it was the rapid insulin. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, yeah. Wait a minute. So we got um, retinopathy and nephropathy. Even neuropathy, right, you can put in there. So one and two are okay, but what's the best answer? Four. Four. <coughs> to prevent those from happening. No, it's um, I think it's one. It's one or three. Three, yeah. So wouldn't you want fifteen carbs? So see that that's a, that's where we got to go into finding out what uh, a slice of bread, how many grams of carbs are in a slice of bread. That's why I don't. Yeah, I know, but I mean, we're just supposed to know that. <laughs> on the PowerPoint said like 15 grams and it's like 4 to 6 ounces of fruit juice, ate a cup of milk, and then something else. Oh, okay. So No. No, no, 150 is. The measurement of your weight, your waist at your level, I Yes. 
sort of got diabetes insipidus and nosing 300. You have to give uh, um, Yes, one. One? Everybody pick one? Yes. What fluids will be running initially? Insulin. 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 Insul
2 p.m., the nurse is noticing these signs of the patient. What might this? What what might the reason be? Oh, I gave her MPH in the end. You know that type of thing. The different nursing <coughs> measures for the different disease processes. These are just not. This right has her own stuff. Um, with labs, tests to use, interventions for various issues. Nursing measures for hypo and hyperglycemia. Differences between, you know, know which ones are any coags, any platelets, any of the thrombolytics, the fibrinolytics. Just, you know, um, you don't want to say, um, uh, you know, call every, everything blood thinners. Okay. Why would a patient be on a sliding scale for insulin? What's a sliding scale? It's, um, Right, it, it's a scale um, that once you take the blood glucose, um, the, uh, there'll be a, a, a range for what, how much insulin the person should get. And that's usually um, a regular insulin or a, a, a rapid acting insulin. A regular, uh, a fast or a short acting insulin that's given for a sliding scale. Um, and that's just to, to manage their blood sugar. So um, oftentimes what they're about to eat is included in that um, uh, sliding scale because it's, it's usually done before meals. Um, and what, uh, and it's also to cover what their sugar is, how high the sugar is. Um, sometimes you'll see, you might have seen on your patient's charts and your patient's paperwork in the hospital, um, diabetic patients that if the, um, um, you know, for blood sugars over 340 or 350, call a physician because you know they're, they're going to they, they're it, you know it might be too high. They might, they might start trying something else because something that obviously isn't working. If their sugar is pretty well managed because they're in the hospital, we know what the heck they're eating. They're not cheating at all. Maybe they are cheating. You know, to finally bring something all the time. Um, but you really want to. Uh, uh, definitely a question about sliding scale. That's just a good, um, have the patients the center of all these interdisciplinary people that can be involved in the care. And should be, you know, I shouldn't say can be. Um, all these people should be ordered. Psychologists, because you know, diabetes long term. Um, people that have depression with long term problems. Do you want them to work on the, the questions I gave them for a little bit? Sure. And then, you could, then we'll take a little break. Yeah, so you take a break now if you want, but come back and work on those questions or take a break. And we'll, we'll start at like this 720 to talk about the questions. Oh,